Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv. Today I'm going to answer another question from Twitter. This one comes from Lundy... Man, I'm going to mess this up. London, L-U-N-D-I-N, the third? It's London I-I-I. So I'm just going to assume it's London the third. And uh, London wants to know about MacBooks and uh, monitors. So he asks, I'm going to... Go ahead and just read exactly what he says here. Can I attach a monitor to my MacBook while still using the laptop monitor? And how do I do this? So London wants to know uh, about external monitors. Now you'll be happy to know London uh, that this is very easy on the Mac. Probably out of all of the I don't want to say every operating system out there, but the three major ones, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X, I think Mac does a, the best job in managing external monitors. What you need to do is simply connect the external monitor to your MacBook. Um, now, I'm not completely sure of the, of the ports on the MacBook. I don't have a MacBook. I have a MacBook Pro. But on every Mac that I've used, which includes a PowerBook, a G4 tower, and my MacBook Pro, all I had to do was connect another monitor to the uh, to the VGA or DVI port that you have. Once I did that, the operating system automatic automatically recognized it. And I believe the default behavior, I don't know in Leopard, but back when I did it in Tiger, I think the default behavior in some cases may be to mirror the desktops, um, but I think they've changed that to extend your desktop. And what people generally don't know is that um, you can customize this very easily and it's not it's almost too intuitive. It's super intuitive What you do is you go to system preferences, okay, and you go to let me, let me walk through this make sure I get the names right and everything Go to system preferences and then go to displays Quite sure that's what it is uh, Yes displays and what it will show you I have two desktop screens here So I'm gonna see the same thing that you see it has one for the Apple cinema display that I have attached and it has a preferences for the color LCD on my MacBook Pro. Now from here I can configure two separate resolutions in two separate windows and it's very very cool. This is on the display tab and there's also uh, an arrangement tab and a color tab depending on which one you've uh, selected. If you go to arrangement what it will show you is it will show you a tiny picture of both of the desktops and it has a little white bar on the top of the main desktop. The main desktop has the menu bar at the top, has a dock on the bottom, the icons and everything. If you want to switch, say for example you want to use that extra monitor as your main monitor, all you gotta do is drag and drop that little white line that represents the menu bar on that little, the little rectangles. All you gotta do is drag and drop it and it'll denote, it'll change the default or main desktop in Mac OS X. That's pretty much it. Um, or you, there's a little checkbox that says mirror displays if you want to show the same thing on both. Because like I said, in Leopard, it defaults, I'm quite sure it defaults to extending the desktop. Um, that's it. And then you can calibrate the colors, do whatever you need to do. Just connect the monitor and Mac OS X. Every monitor I've used, I've used probably like six or seven different monitors from Mac OS X. It automatically recognizes them and I can automatically change and configure and rearrange things I can put I can rearrange the monitors like if I put them on top of each other you just drag and drop the arrangement of the monitors that you have and it, it does it <laughs> it's probably one of the easiest things I've seen uh, on Mac OS 10 so uh, London I hope that answers your question about how to attach an external monitor to um, to your MacBook while still using your laptop monitor. So that's that's how easy it is. You just simply connect it. All right, this is one from one TV. I hope I understood your question. Um, if not, then let me know and I'll try to address it again. So take care.